Good afternoon. I hope uh, we will try to make it very meaningful and we will try to make it very valuable because otherwise we will make sure you don't sleep. Uh, that's the toughest job after lunch for any and that's, that was a panel discussion. So we will make it, I will actually make it not a conservative panel discussion where we are not going to bore you with the next 20 minutes. Uh, so let us, let's, let, let me, uh, because the, mo the, the moderator who was supposed to moderate is some way uh, will not able to come, he couldn't make it. So I was one of the speaker. So let me, so I was given the role to be a moderator. So my name is Shubha Brato. So I'll hand over the phone, uh, mic, sorry, to each one and let them into what they're doing and uh, make it for two minutes. So I, I, I think we already have a long discussion and I mean a long brief. So this, this introduction can be uh, what role we are doing in each of our present day-to-day uh, -day life. Uh, and uh, let us also talk about uh, what AI, the topic is all about AI and marketing, how AI is benefiting. Uh, so let, let's hear from the ladies first and I'll, I'll, I'll try to make it in the end. So whoever wants to start, go on, uh, talk a little bit about you and then you can start about role you're presently playing at the organization wherever you're working and uh, maybe one minute, and then you talk about how you think AI is benefiting the, the fraternity, marketing fraternity, and so on and so forth, or, or tools you want to talk. I, I'll leave it on it. Sure. Um, we had a big round of introductions, so I won't be introducing myself again. So as you all know, uh, my name is Pallavi, and uh, currently I'm working in a lead uh, leading IT company. I am into uh, campaign management. So wherein I look into end-to-end -end campaign management, right, from campaign planning to execution uh, to digital marketing to reporting, etc. So I look into everything. And um, uh, touching on our topic, uh, uh, AI and digital marketing. So as you are all aware that uh, marketing is evolving and ever-changing. And in this um, uh, rapid advancement of AI, AI is in uh, the forefront of technology. Um, within few years, AI has uh, become, went from niche uh, interest to a big phenomena, and we are all using AI in some form or the other. Uh, marketers are using AI in uh, content generation, ideas, presentation, uh, video creation. Uh, nowadays, HRs are also using AI in uh, learning, in recruitment. Um, so, uh, like, we are all using AI, and few emerging trends in AI would be, AI is widely used in content generation. We widely use AI tools in content creation, uh, video creation, etc. And we also use AI for SEO-related uh, 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 searches, wherein uh, there are few AI tools that I can um, uh, let you all know, uh, which is, uh, we all know about ChatGPT. There is a tool called WriterSonic, which is a SEO-related tool wherein it uses SEO keywords and makes your page rank higher. So be it blog, be it website, uh, using the AI tool, uh, we make sure that our page ranks higher. Uh, apart from that, there is Google Gemini, which, is, uh, which was earlier called Google Bard. It is also a, a Google's AI uh, related to Writer Sonic and a uh, few other tools. Um, uh, do you want to add anything no, no, continue, continue. Okay. Um, AI is also used uh, for voice search. And um, AR and VR also integrates with AI. And uh, it allows us to uh, uh, interact with products virtually using AR and VR technology. And uh, it gives a unique uh, customer experience. And AI is also used for email campaigns. So when we are using AI, we make sure that uh, using AI tools, our campaigns are targeted and it's uh, personalized, uh, making the click-through rate and um, conversation uh, imp uh, improves using AI tools. So uh, I think uh, uh, in conclusion, I would like to say that incorporating these AI tools uh, in our ma marketing strategies will not only help us stay ahead of the curve, but also make sure that we're using AI at the full potential. So that's my take on AI. Yeah. You want to do a, I like think, a round I robin think, thing? You or? Know, uh, I think uh, she has already encapsulated the most of it and uh, that's been really helpful. So I would like to add on to what you're saying. You know, I, I remember there were days where when I was, I started working and uh, we used to stay late nights uh, doing a presentation and working on a presentation and it's to be like sitting on it and looking at all the smart arts and this and that when we used to do it, right? At least I remember my days. So today I have a team of people 
So there was a presentation with a client. I just want to share and I'm just actually adding it to what she's saying. There was a presentation with a client and my team is very relaxed, cool, sitting like these youngsters, you know. And uh, they tell me, uh, ma'am, don't worry. I have de some Dectopass. I said, okay. That's an AI presentation uh, tool. And it was ready. And it was a very nice presentation. Obviously, I added few things on that. But I'm trying to, when I look at it and I think about it, when we used to, we used to be really sitting, doing lots of research, finding out things, this, that. Yes, of course, our basics were very strong. I agree. But I think today, these tools have given us so much of an access to even go to a client and say, boss, and the presentation also looks very interesting and nice because you have to give the right prompts. So I always believe AI is an extremely, it's, it's something which is really going to help us in the future. But you should know how to utilize it, how to give what kind of prompts and AI also learns from you. AI learns a lot from you. What is your prompt? How? So a lot of times it happened, I've seen my team doing it. So I write my own blogs. I write my own things. I do not use AI for it for sure. But I've seen my team when they're doing something, they give a prompt. Sometimes the prompts go wrong and they come up with something rubbish. And there's sometimes three to four times the funnel happens and then they come up with the space that they're looking for. So I think, you know, uh, everything when internet boom happened okay people did not know how to utilize it and now it's 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 something which is a day-to-day -day thing for us same with ai i believe is it's 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 a new topic everybody is talking about ai there are new aspects of ai be it in the uh, you know space of chat gpt copy ai there are so many ways of uh, prompts that you can use to do something in ai i think it's that you need to know how to use it. So that's the best thing with AI, I believe. And there are lots I will add on and just, you know, hand the mic to someone else also who can speak. I'm going on speaking otherwise. Yes, that's fine. So I, I, I think I probably go even uh, further back uh, than her. So I, I come from the ancient, ancient era now uh, where literally everything was done you know, with our own little hands, like she was giving the presentation example. So I was known in my heydays as the presentation queen. Okay, so it was like, kuch bhi nahi kara na, fir bhi, you know, evaluation will be perfect because that presentation was so deadly, <laughs> right? And now, of course, my skill has become little obsolete because everybody is coming up with great presentations. But yeah, very like she said, um, so AI is now the little baby, right? The blue white bo boy, you go to any conference, like I know, like she asked, a few, a few of you might be thinking, why are we talking AI? I mean, why are we first of all talking marketing, right? Uh, in today's the conference, and then, conference. and then on top of that, AI. But it's like the new buzzword, and just like, you know, I believe, what is HR about? HR is finally about the most key resource, that is people, right? And AI also, we have to look at it in terms of how it is impacting people how it's impacting the workforce and how it's impacting our consumers and this link between the workforce and the consumers at the end of the day, right? So I think one thing we need to first understand is face the writing on the wall. It's not a choice anymore, right? Even in our day-to-day -day lives, move away from HR, move away from marketing, move away from corporate. We are all users of HR, uh, uh, AI, right? If anybody here goes online, you are using AI. Right? If you're watching Netflix, you are using AI. Netflix is giving you what to watch based on your past history. That is something which she was touching upon, that it learns from what you use. Right? So even in marketing, it is learning from what the consumer is using. That is why it's called generative AI. Yeah? It generates based on the kind of data that you've been searching for. However, it's a double-edged sword. There are lots of biases which uh, Shubha will, I'm sure, also speak about uh, uh, later on. Um, I know biases is, I think, a word with all of us here in this room in HR, you know, are well versed with. And it happens in AI as well, right? Because we feel that anything which comes from technology is foolproof. But that's not the case. 
right? Uh, so AI is also uh, having biases in terms of, uh, I remember one large company, I would take a name, but uh, they, they did a, um, uh, you know, study on something organizationally and then they had to cancel out their complete results because they realized that the data being input for the last 20 years was very male dominant and that is why it was, you know, not showing up uh, you know, the leadership skills and all of the data which was required, which they were looking for, for the women to grow faster and higher. So it has inbuilt biases and those biases are coming because AI is being based on the inputs, which let's say the great world wide web internet has fed into it, right? So th that is where the human aspect comes in, right? AI is not going to replace the human beings. AI is going to push the human beings <coughs> to take on a higher level of skills where, whereas they themselves are going to be doing a lot of the repetitive tasks, a lot of the tasks which um, are generic. So even in terms of marketing, so we do a lot of content generation, right? So I come from publishing, which means I come from writing books. So I come from old school. I don't even like an e-book. I am still the hold the book, which paper, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. But now I've come out and I've, based on my last few years of mentoring in book writing, I've come out with a new book now, whereby, which I've, like the one she mentioned, Blank to Book, where we fused AI and how to use that with our proprietary method of writing a book, which is the 10 step bestseller method, right? So now the world is moving to that step. So we can sit here and say, oh, Many chat GPT nahi use kara. You know, it's not shameful anymore to be saying that I use chat GPT, I use Canva, I use so many tools in funnel management and campaign management and marketing for, uh, you know, uh, for targeting to segmentation to uh, uh, health is as important as physical health. So, similarly, AI also is now an acceptable term. Might as well take the writing on the wall and just use it consciously. Just like we live intentionally, so use AI also consciously knowing that it's a double-edged sword and we hold the power in the end of how to use AI so that humanity becomes more sustainable and not teethers at the edge. Yeah? So Thank I'd like you. to add on this uh, what she said. We had recently done a film okay, with a client of ours and today scenario most of it the clients do not have big budgets and keeping that in mind there were things like we had to do dubbing of the film in 10 languages and client said I do not have so much of budget that I'm going to put in to do this in 10 languages means different different language may you have to get the person the human so and so so we said let's work it out in a different way so the entire team, we sat down and we got to online dubbing and it worked out so well. It's really you know, 15 languages and the cost has been, you know, three times less, four times less what they have paid for 15 languages dubbing when with a human being. Of course, that's where I'm saying so AI needs to be used smartly. We need to know how to use AI. and. There has to be the right prompts given with AI. Then everybody, it's a win-win. It's a win-win for the client. It's a win-win for us as an agency. And it is faster. It gives you the right thing. So perfect. I think it, it, is, it is the future and we should know how to use it in the future. That's about it. Yeah. Just adding to what my uh, fellow panelists said. Uh, firstly, understanding AI's full potential is really important for the ones uh, using it. Whether we need AI uh, or whether the task can be done individually, that is also a call that we have to take. So uh, uh, pinning down all the advantages, AI also has a lot of disadvantages like the data fed can be biased or can be uh, error, uh, which has error. So it has to be very consciously uh, fed in. Um, also some tools are not free, some tools are paid tools. So all these decisions has to be taken very judiciously and very consciously and then pro we arrive at a good uh, AI uh, can be used at a full potential. So I think I can't see my audience so let me stand because I got this is uh, uh, creating obstructions. So uh, before I talk 
Uh, if you can raise hand and tell me who people here in this room are senior uh, departmental heads or senior heads. Just raise hands. I just want to count. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. And raise hands people who are students here. Okay. So I see more people raising hands who are students here. So welcome to the world of losing jobs. Let me scare you guys first. Yeah. So people who are uh, 45 plus, uh, they have a very slight chance of uh, you know, uh, losing jobs because they are already almost on the end of the career if they are not consulting like me. Uh, till the time you die, you can do consulting. No one stops you. But job you can only do uh, for a limited period. Now, for the students who rose hands, you just now you know, rising hands in terms of show, showing that you are a student, welcome because you guys are the most important people who will first get a hit at the impact of AI. Let me give an example uh, what I have been going through. There are, if you Google, you will find there are 69 million SMEs in this country. 69 million SME, which is small scale industries whose uh, uh, turnover is around uh, 400 uh, crore upwards, right? I'm not talking about the uh, top Hindustan levers, Pepsi's and the Cokes of the world. I'm talking about the, 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 the SMEs of this world. Now, these SMEs, I have been consulting across India and globe. I see 99% uh, of these SMEs, uh, also large corporations who are 1,000 crore above, are not using AI in their office. They are just talking AI at conferences over some wine and sherry. They are not even using. Most people don't know anything of ChatGPT. Let me give an example. ChatGPT launched almost 7-8 months back. But can you tell me how many people are actually making money using ChatGPT? No one. Not much people. Why? The reason is very simple. Along with ChatGPT or Generative AI or, or there right now, if you Google, you will find there are right now, I think the last count is 7,800 AI software available. If you go to any AI software uh, dictionary, which is available on Google, you will find 7,800 number of AIs are available. So on different, uh, different genre. Now here the problem is most of the CXOs and the CEOs like me uh, don't know anything of AI. They talk about AI in conference, but they don't go and don't encourage people to use AI because they knew you need to pay. <laughs> Payment becomes the most important factor and the, the hurdles of the using AI. But I think if these uh, 120, 150 consulting I have done across uh, almost different, I think they, she just wrote out, I mean, she, she mentioned all the list of companies I've been uh, to, uh, consulting. Most people don't know. They are still using ChatGPT, only writing content. That also faulty content. Now, I want to give you four, six different uh, framework which all the kids who are on the back seat, you can go and use AI from tomorrow. And your AI or your chat GPT will give you 10 times more perfection output than the output we are giving now. First is called TAG. You can search, you can actually type this in ChatGPT and figure out. T stands for task, A stands for action, R stands for role, so on and so forth. So there are six. Just write down the six. One is TAG. Next is BAB. BA is, BAB is before, after bridge. BAB. Third is RISE, R-I-A-C. Fourth is CARE, C-A-R-E. The last one is RTF. R is role, T is task, and EF is the format, R-T-F. So if you use this format in the chat GPT or any other AI you are using and give a context, you will get 10 times may more important output of than the chat GPT. And you don't need to buy a, a, a subscription version of a chat GPT. With 1600 rupees, you don't need to buy. So the question is that everybody, how many of you have an iPhone? Raise hands. Again, I will attack people who, I also have an iPhone. So I will attack iPhone <laughs> users because uh, iPhone or any costly phone which is more than 1.1 lakh and above. In this country, most people are buying iPhone, but if you ask yourself, do you know 15 or 20 features of iPhone? How many people will raise that? Same question to use is goes to the same level. Having iPhone or having a Samsung which is a 1 lakh rupees doesn't make you a great photographer. But there are people who are using iPhone and Samsung to make videos and film from it. So the question is that if you really, if you are, definitely AI is not going to take, AI will take jobs, but it is not the AI. People who know AI better than you will take your job. So people sitting next to you is eating your job. 
So I'll give you another, some horrified example so that you will know that I'm not just giving Gyan. I can't tell you the name of the consultant because uh, I see my content is getting recorded. It will go on YouTube. So they will sue me. So I can't do that. But I'll tell you the one of the biggest. There are four, four, four or five big consulting. So one of the biggest consultant I've hired six member team who is right now going and pointing people within the organization in all the departments to you know, uh, to replace them. They will be replaced by AI. They will be replaced by softwares. So, and there, and the, uh, and the second part is, after, this is a two years project. We, after the project is over, that six team needs to fire themselves. Because, yeah, okay, fine. So, that's, that's the most important thing is happening in AI. So, if you think that AI is far away and AI is just chat, chat GPT, it is going to kill you. Uh, your job will be at stake, you will get a lesser payment, a uh, freelancer will struggle because if you don't know this framework and the architecture of, uh, of how to give instruction or prompting, prompt engineering, you don't need to be an engineer to become a prompt, prompt engineer. So if you don't use this task and, and, and these formats, uh, you will always struggle and someone will take your job. Uh, so anything else? So I think that's, that's my part. Uh, I think we have only five minutes. So, uh, since we have five minutes, I uh, now leave it to the, 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 you know, you can, the crowd, you can ask us anyone questions and we will try to answer. Yeah. Five minutes. Uh, we'll take uh, f uh, four questions. Is that fine, ma'am? Yeah. Four to five questions. So, raise hands and uh, if someone can give the uh, mic. Any, any query, anything else you want to ask, we are happy to answer. Because we want you to go back with something and not just having a session here at Taj Lands and, and take selfies outside Lord. If different take selfie, but make sure you go something. You get some golden nuggets. So we have all experts here. If I put together our age and conf, you know uh, the experience we are managing is more than I think uh, close to 100 years. Uh, close to 100 years, right? So any questions? <laughs> Not the age, but the experience. Number of years we have found. What? So I am almost 30s. I'm sure all three put together will be more than that. So it's more than 100 years ex experience we have right now. Any question, you raise your hands. If you feel shy, in case, I'm sure all of you, if you feel shy, you can reach out to us on LinkedIn. You can ask your question. We are happy to answer. I've been talking in various business colleges and school. I am helping students. So you can reach out if you feel a little uncomfortable to talk. And you might feel that my question is a little stupid. So it doesn't matter. Uh, there was a time when I was in, in that last row and looking at this podium. So one day you will also come here. So that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. And uh, see you outdoor for any questions. We are available.